So we're here at the SID Display Week and hi, so who are you? Hey, I'm Jim Neinsling, I'm with Hisense. And we're here at the Nanosys booth and you're launching this new TV. It has Quantum Dot inside, right? It does. This is the Hisense H9F, which will begin shipping to market next month. So it's a thousand nits. It's thousand nits peak brightness, so it's full UHD certified. Local dimming? 132 zones of local dimming on this 65 inch. And it's affordable. It is affordable. It's only a thousand dollars, nine 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 in the market next month. That's really awesome to get Quantum Dot colors and all that stuff that comes with it. That's right. Nine 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 dollars. Quantum Dot a wide color gamut to greater than ninety eight percent DCI P three rating and uh, it'll be available in the market next month, like I said. You can get it at bestbuy.com, amazon.com, and some of our other channel partners And you as have well. some even higher um, implementation of the Quantum Dot. So here's the ULED XD. What's, so what, what's this? So U, ULED XD is Hisense's latest innovation, which stands for Extreme Detail, and it also has Quantum Dots built in from our friends at Nanosys. But also importantly is that what you're viewing here is a combination of a 2K module adhered to a 4K module to make up a dual cell technology. So in other words, not only does it have 132 zones of full array local dimming, but you also have light control all the way down to the pixel level on the back of the panel. It's pixel dimming. It is. But at 2K. At 2K, however... You can do 4K pixel dimming? We can. As a matter of fact, as you can see here, by the time we come to market in 2020, there will be two 4K modules precision bonded together. The sample that's hanging on the wall here happens to be 2K behind Because 4K. we're not there yet. We're not in, we're not in 2020 yet. <laughs> that's right. So it's coming 2020. Correct. Correct. Why not sooner? It looks like it's working. Um, we're still in development. We're still working on the business case. We're still working on the industrial design. It will not be in this cabinet. So there's some still some thing, things that they're in development. Uh, that's really awesome. So we heard the Nanosys and the hi. So who are you? Yeah, I'm Russell Kempt. I'm the head of sales and marketing for Nanosys. How are you, Charbox? Good to see you. How are you? So what, do, what is your claim with this technology right here? Oh, I think it's just beautiful. I mean, it speaks for itself. I don't think I have to make any claims here. You can see that the blacks are nearly 100 times blacker than any other state-of-the-art LCD TV technology out there. 100 and times more black. 100 times more black. And you can see here, there's zero blooming, there's zero any kind of artifacts associated with the really bright, colorful quantum dot uh, display here, and the blacks just stay perfect. I don't think anybody's ever seen this type of technology in a non-OLED-based technology, and so we're very excited about what Hisense has done. But you're not able to say it's as good as OLED, are you? Oh, I would say definitely it's as good as OLED. I think everybody that's come by the show today, we've, we've literally had uh, thousands of visitors come by our booth today, and I would say everybody is just impressed with this TV. It's operating in a very high light environment with beautiful color and perfect blacks. I think it's a, every bit as good as OLED, and it's going to be less uh, costly than OLED as well for the same size. So the second 4K TV is just for the backlight? Correct. It's just doing the local dimming. Yeah, so effectively we can say that because there's a luminance module behind the 4K color module, we're operating with local dimming down to the 8.3 million zones because we're able to control the pixels in the back module to control the backlight. To control the brightness and every single thing. Correct. So you're aligned. But the black is not totally black on the, even on the back LCD, or is it? Excuse me? I mean, you say it's a black and white backlight or what do you call it the well the back the the 4k module on the back of the panel is able to control the backlighting down to the pixel level that's what gives fully you black and fully fully white yeah so exactly. You hear, you hear you, a lot about full array local dimming, right? People talk about hundreds of zones and the best TVs that are out there today. This is 8.3 million zones of local dimming. And there is no, no such thing as a perfect black. That's kind of a misperception that our competing technology talks about. Nobody views a display in a completely dark black environment. It doesn't exist. It doesn't even exist in a movie theater. So this is certainly black enough. And you can see here very bright uh, images and very, very bright seashells here and other images with zero blooming and perfect black beside it. So, we so think it's this black is, enough. It's, it's black enough, and we think it's as good or better than any uh, OLED technology that out, that's out there. It's certainly brighter. 
So we've got adequate black levels and we've got much brighter brightness here on the TV with perfect color. So we think this is a great technology. Is the argument for your technology uh, a lot to do with uh, uh, ambient light also? Of course. And you want to compete with the ambient light with more nits. Yeah. How much nits can you do here? Is there less nits because it's a dual display kind of thing? So the backlight, the backlight technology that we'll utilize will include full array local dimming, so the power will go where it's needed. So we'll be able to maintain full UHD compliance, meaning we'll have over a thousand nits peak brightness level. Over a thousand nits. Yeah. And uh, all the all the colors and everything. Yeah, wide HDR color gamut, thing. greater than 98 percent DCI-P3. Cool. But yeah. uh, does it double the price because there's two of them in there? Um, it won't double the price. So the one of the premise behind this project is the fact that um, OLED has its advantages, and our aim is to be able to present a product that, sh that shows Hisense's and Nanosys's technical prowess and present a value to the consumer for the same screen size for a lower retail price point than OLED. It's nice. I think it's nice of you to make things affordable. <laughs> Right? It's That's kind of like one of the things that Hyacinth does, does. Yeah. It brings cool TVs to everybody. That's right. For the World Cup, football, That's what for everything. Whole, that's what our whole ULED product line represents. And this ULED XD is our current technical advancement for ULED. So where's your dual 8K? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me next year. But are you already doing 8K at the trade shows and stuff, right? Yeah. Hisense has an 8K product. Um, we could bring it to the U.S. With market. With Quantum Dot? With Quantum Dot. Yeah. Um, we won't launch it in the U.S. this year, but we do have a product. It needs to be ready by next year. It's the Olympics, right, and stuff? It's the Olympics, but we also need infrastructure. Yeah. We need studio cameras to change. We need fiber. We need 5G. There's a lot of things we need. You just fill a few container ships full of them and just ship, bring them over from China. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Right. Let's keep walking around, yeah. take a look at the other displays here. Right. Um, cool. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So, so this, is an, this is an example here of a big format gaming monitor. This is from Hewlett Packard. So, of course, this is leveraging our quantum dot technology as well. The benefits you get in terms of efficiency and brightness here in this, in this display are uh, apparent. We're doing some analysis here. So it's called what it's the color gamut is and what the luminance is. The very impressive thing here is with the quantum dot technology, you have a really, really fast response time. So all the gaming monitors, all the big format gaming monitors that are really a premium here, they want to be using the fastest response time possible because they don't want any kind of artifacts and blurring of the image. I'm going to show you a demo in a second of a KSF phosphor versus a quantum dot and you'll see how obvious that, that uh, blurring and that image quality degrades when you use a cheaper solution for a wider color gamut. So this Let's, is the Omen brand is mainly for team, for for gaming. That's right. This is what they call BFG big format gaming monitor. So that's a acronym that's being used heavily now and the gamers, you know, they're relatively price and sensitive in terms of what they're willing to pay. So this is really, you know, one of the best panels, one of the best products that's out there for gaming today and of course it's massive, it's huge, it's immersive. You, you can, can sit use back it for watching TV too. You can use it for anything you want. It's a beautiful it's a beautiful display. That's And so uh, at Nanosys, you have some technology that really helps with motion. That's right, that's the quantum dot itself. So let's take a look at that right here. Yeah. Um, this is just a very quick demo here of the, the KSF phosphor solution, uh, which is on the top here. So a, cost, a phosphor is a form of uh, color conversion, but it has a very slow time for response time. So it degrades slowly. And when that happens and you slow the image down just a little bit, you'll start to see artifacts around the soccer ball here. Sorry, I touched something. Yeah. Um, you'll start to see red and blue different artifacts around that, that soccer ball. And even when you watch it in the fastest time without it being slowed down, there's something there that your brain notices. You don't know what it is, but it causes you to feel a little bit sick. If you use the quantum dot technology, you can see here the response time is is literally nanosecond response time instead of millisecond response time. So you have no change in the image, you have no artifacts around the image, the soccer balls, tennis balls, whatever type of action you're looking at. And that's one reason why nobody wants to use the phosphors in the gaming monitors, because the gaming monitors really require a very, very fast response time. And uh, here's an 8K. Talk about 8K? Yeah, so uh, 8K is really exciting. And yeah. uh, are you going to be big in 8K? 
we are going to be huge in 8K, and we think 8K is uh, obviously going to be the next big wave in resolution. So Samsung is jumping in very aggressively into the 8K game, uh, just like they did with 4K. Many of the market research firms say that uh, you know 4K adoption will be slower than it was. We think 8K is the same. And the beautiful thing that Samsung has done, because there's not so much 8K content out there today, they've used all of their leverage and know-how with the artificial intelligence to do very smart upscaling using AI and using very sophisticated algorithms where they can understand the scenes and they can upscale the content appropriately to give you a very good 8K image. This is actually the content here that we're showing the, the, the scaling on, the upscaling on and off with 8K is not even 4K content. This is between 480 and 1080i, 1080p, uh, content here, so it's really just full HD content, not even 4K. And there's plenty of 4K content out there that you can upscale very nicely to 8K and get a beautiful image quality. On this, on this reel here, um, after we show the AI upscaling on and off demo, it goes into some native 8K content, and it is just mind-boggling realistic. You're, you know, one of these scenes, you're on a boat, you're floating down the river, and you start to get a little bit feeling like you're rocking in the boat because it's such a 3D effect, the colors are so lifelike. Samsung has been a huge uh, advocate and adopter of the Quantum Dot technology, and we're very proud to be part of that uh, with them in their 8K. The ultimate is going to be the 2D on glass, no? Uh, the old, well, QD on glass is just a, a new type of form factor that it enables. So, want to want to say one quick thing here about about the uh, yeah. about the competing technology and take a look at some of this content while I'm talking. So the the. Um, the one thing that our competitor, in terms of the OLED technology, has a big challenge with supporting higher resolution because their pixel architecture is much denser. So they basically have to make trade-offs between brightness, luminance, color gamut, and then those are two top two attributes that consumers love and want, or they have to risk higher increased likelihood of burn-in, which they already have problems with. And so really, for the LCD technology, uh, Quantum Dots are the ultimate enabler in terms of brightness and color gamut, and we can go to the highest resolutions possible. You want to take a look at the uh, QD on glass? I can yeah. show you an example of that. So this is an example of a product here. This is the 27 inch pavilion uh, monitor. This was launched at CS. This was announced at Consumer Electronics yeah. Show. It's been available since the first quarter. You can buy this product today on Amazon for $399. It's a beautiful uh, monitor for your home or your office. Great color, great brightness. And this is the thinnest monitor ever made. So it's less than seven millimeters thickness. So you can see here, if I put my cell phone, my brand new Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus up next to it, similar thickness here. This is the thinnest monitor ever made available to the consumer. So this is a really beautiful form factor. The color gamut, the brightness is the same type of uh, same type of performance you get with the quantum dot film, but the QD on glass enables a new form factor. So the the monitor the <clears throat> makers really want this. They want to make thinner. Absolutely. I mean, I think you want something that's unobtrusive in your office, in your home, when you're interacting with your uh, coworkers, etc. You like to have a very beautiful thin form factor. So absolutely. And what are you showing here? Is this so? This special? is the ultimate flexible printed display. This is quantum dot electroluminescent technology. So we're showing many different colors of quantum dots that are stimulated by a current or electricity to create that light. So there, it's an emissive technology. This is the ultimate display because it's all inkjet printed. You can get any color you want by just changing the size of the core of the nanocrystal, and it's gonna be extraordinarily inexpensive and work with any type of form factor you can imagine because it is transparent, it's flexible, it's printable, it's the ultimate type of display technology. What does that mean? Is it going to be everywhere? Is it is it going to be, be everywhere. Kind of screen is going to. This is it's going to talking about printed here, right? I'm talking about printed. So the cost can be inkjet printed. So the cost can be very, very low. So we've done some analysis with DSCC, which is the leading market research firm, and we've determined that a price point of about $100 per square meter for inkjet printing this type of display is possible. So you're going to have this per square meter. That's right. How many square meters in a 65 inch? A 60, well, 60 inches is basically a square meter, so it's just a 65 inches, just a little bit over a square so we're meter. So talking about something like hundred dollar for 65 inch for a 60 inch display. In cost. That's right so for this inkjet printed display. For other so stuff? yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, depending on how you how you house it and circuitry, other things, right? But I'm talking about the cost of printing the display. It has to be That's extraordinarily that's like white, low. Right? 
does it today like there's a challenge stuff like today that? there's a challenge with there's no no burn in issue but there is a challenge with lifetime and we're working on improving the performance of these materials so that their lifetimes are as good or better than any OLED materials that are on the market today and again with this inkjet printing this completely soluble based system you'll be able to have displays in all kinds of environments that you never imagined before this surface here can be a can be an inkjet printed display our entire booth can be an inkjet printed display everything can be printed because it's extraordinarily low cost and all of this nanosys all of this is nanosys quantum Why? dot because technology you just, because you're doing the quantum dot because we're the experts in quantum dots we focus only on making quantum dot material we make the best material in the world we make it at the highest capacity in a fully automated fashion so we have the lowest cost and you don't use a what do you call it this thing that the europe wants to ban right so in all of our materials beyond the quantum dot enhancement film, we do not use any cadmium or heavy metals. No more so cadmium. they're completely they cadmium before? free, completely heavy metal free. That's right. And you're using uh, your, your special mix is uh, your speciality, what do you call it? The way you make the, the quantum dot. Uh, we, uh, so we make quantum dots in a, in a core shell reaction, so that's the only way to really make good, high-yielding quantum dots, and we've just figured that out over years of experience, and we've done that in very large scale. No one else has been able to do that, so we're able to get the best performance at the best price. Nice, and uh, here's some more quantum dot demos right here. Yeah, so this is an example of quantum dot film. You've seen this before, just how the color yeah. conversion happens with uh, from a blue LED backlight with the quantum dot film. Yeah. You can change the color. This is an example here of an inkjet printed quantum dot patterned uh, display. So if you look down in there, I'm not sure if you can see that with your camera, um, but that is an inkjet printed system that we've developed with DIC. They're one of the leading ink companies. Here's an example of the resolutions that we're able to achieve uh, here with that inkjet printed system. This is an example of a photolithography based system. So again, we have a subpixel pattern down in there, um, and this is done with photolithography. If you look on the screen here, you can see that we've actually demonstrated photolithography all the way down to three micron. So these are blue micro LEDs with quantum dot color conversion materials on top. And we get that amazing patterning all the way down to very, very small features. That's not printed. This is photolithography because in order to in order to do very small features, less than say, you know, 40 micron or 30 micron type features, you need to do photolithography. Inkjet printing only goes to about 30 or 40 micron today. But this is also the future. Uh, absolutely, this is the future. This is how many new displays are going to leverage new types of backlight technology, whether it's high brightness LEDs, micro LEDs, mini LEDs, or blue OLED backlights, and then do that color conversion near the front of the display so you get that beautiful color, you get excellent viewing angles, and these materials are ready to go today. You want nice. to take a look at a, at a video, yeah. a film that we have here? Hey, Jeff, are you going to tee this thing Let's up today? Yeah. Um, so let's walk here inside the booth. We've got some content that we had specially created, which uh, Jeff Urich Hi. is going to talk to you about. How's it going, Hi. this good. show? Good to see you again. It's been a great show for us. So The best ever? The best ever. It's always the best ever. Every yeah. every year we do something more and something bigger. And this year we built a theater. You built a theater. We built a theater. Yeah, we're not. I don't know if you got a popcorn yet, but you should grab yeah. your popcorn. Nice. It smells and, like popcorn. Yeah. And so yeah. what? when you go to the theater, uh, we have we have a special demo here with uh, AJA Video Systems equipment doing some real time analysis of the uh, content we're going to show you. Uh, and we're going to start it off with a little audio visual experience. Plug this up real quick here. Uh, well, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the uh, Vizio P Series Quantum X, brand new 2019 uh, display. We think this is going to Which be one? one of the top displays. It's right here on the on the yeah. very top. The and you're comparing with the. With the OLED, 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 with OLED on the bottom. That's uh, we're not going to say the brand, yeah. uh, but it's the highest performing OLED uh, set in the reviews okay. today. So this is a fair comparison to products that are on the market today. All right. So here we go. A little audio visual experience to kick things off. A little bit like you'd have in a real theater. So we're seeing lots of nits here. Lots what are we of seeing? Nits. That was up to 10,000 nits uh, at the peak in that in that particular but this frame. This doesn't do 10,000 nits. It does 3,000 nits, which is a lot. Uh, which is a lot. And so part of the demo here is showing you that uh, the set on the top, the uh, 3,000 nit uh, Vizio P Quantum, is able to more accurately reproduce that full range of the uh, PQ curve from zero to 10,000 nits. 
Uh, this is a special piece of content. We haven't shown this to anybody yet. Oh. But what we'll be showing here is some of our quantum dot materials. We like we wanted to take them out of the TV and actually show people what what the material is really all about. So we have red, green, and blue quantum dot materials. Worked with a cinematographer, a guy named Phil Holland, to create a really kind of beautiful uh, piece of art that shows what the quantum dots are all about. So we'll we'll play that now. really wide color gamut. It's really cool. If you look at this, this is plotting the color gamut in real time. So you can see it's filling the full BT2020 It's filling the full BT2020 color gamut here. You look how saturated the quantum dots are. So the quantum dot materials themselves are a great demo for a wide color gamut content. So you film your own quantum dots? Yes. These are these are quantum dot paints basically. It's a quantum dot show. Yeah it's the quantum dot show exactly. Exactly. So we have blue so your camera is probably not able to really capture what's going on here. Sorry, I'm not filming in HDR. I don't have a 10,000 nits capable camera. So, uh, why, why, am I, why is it the first time you show this? That's, yeah. the, that's the reason night. it's the first time we're showing this. So uh, we decided to stick with our standard demo instead of running through this, but uh, wanted to give you a chance to take a look at it and uh, give you the first take on it. So it hope looks you awesome. enjoy. Yeah. And it sounds awesome too. Yeah, absolutely. These, uh, these TVs are just so realistic, right? Life's like we're living in a magical age, kind of. We this really stuff was are. not possible like to imagine 10 years ago, right? Yeah, even even five years ago, maybe, Five years right? ago. Yeah, I mean, you... so I'm trying to think what year it was. We're living in the future. 2014, we showed a 2,000-nit professional reference monitor that we developed with Dolby um, at this very show, and people thought that was totally crazy. They thought, this is nuts. You'll never have a consumer product that's 2,000 nuts, nits, right? I mean, yeah. like, forget about it. Why even make this? Why even make this, this content ecosystem, right? And here we have a 3,000 nit TV that's coming out in a couple of months. And right? at that time, it was a water-cooled display. Right. So it required water cooling. Right. Now we have the technology and the capability to get these sets up to 3,000 plus nits, like you see here with the Vizio P-Series uh, Quantum X and uh, not water cooled and a beautiful picture quality and just uh, amazing experience. So it's like you're looking out a window. It's a really lifelike experience. Um, this demo is too cool. <laughs> <laughs> we thought you might like it, especially the music. Jeff picked the music, by the way, for you. So this Vizio P-Series Quantum X. Yes. Uh, all new and not too expensive. Yeah, this is all new, so I don't think they've announced the pricing yet, and it's not here on our placard, but this will be available in the retailers you know in the next 45 days, also available online. We think this is going to be one of the top uh, TVs, if not the number one TV for 2019. With their 2018 model, the Vizio P-Series 65, they did not have a Quantum X that year. Uh, P-Series 65 Quantum last year, they won awards across many different sites and were one of the top TVs, if not the top TV, at uh, many different uh, so, reviewers. So 3,000 nits, hopefully it's less than $3,000. Oh, it will be less than $3,000, I'm sure of that. Yeah. And uh, uh, do you have, uh, so you saw in Hisense, uh, Vizio, Samsung, um, yeah, we have more than 11 different consumer electronics brands that are that are uh, showing quantum dot technology or making it in mass production today. So really everyone is using quantum dot technology for the benefits that you've seen here at our booth and also uh, because it's very cost advantageous today versus other types of technology. So it's really the best viewing experience at the best price and uh, many, many technical advantages of the technology itself. What can we imagine for next year's SID Display Week? You already, I mean, you already showed what's going to happen. Yeah, so, uh, so Jeff is here in charge of our SID Display Week exactly. uh, booth and everything. Brian's actually off right now picking the booth for next year. So, you know, we'll have to see. We've got a year to figure it out. 
All right. We think you're gonna see more and more demos of quantum dot color conversion. That's sort of the next major implementation of quantum dot technology. You're gonna see more and more brighter uh, displays. You're gonna see more innovation like from Hisense with this XD type of technology. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great year next year and the industry is on a treadmill. We never stop, so we're gonna to continue to innovate and keep uh, delivering new technology. And most importantly, this awesome stuff is reaching millions of people. That's right. So yeah. all these people, uh, everybody is getting access to this amazing that's right. That's right. The forecast for this year is somewhere between 7 to 10 million different Quantum Dot uh, sets that will be on the market in terms of volume. Uh, we've outsold the OLED technology for the past several years, according to DSCC, and we're predicted to continue to do so for the foreseeable future, so forever, uh, with the Quantum Dot technology. And it's because of the performance and the cost advantages. It is amazing how LCD just figures away. That's you right. Get, That's right. You get cool. And I mean, to get... Uh, more and more performance, yeah. Better and better contrast, better black levels, all of these things. It's really amazing and really innovative. So yeah, we're excited to be part of the industry.